because he doesn't necessarily even have 300 hours. But for a Yamaha water pump, most manufacturer water pumps, three years will be the uh, will be the time frame for a water pump to be replaced. So we're doing the three year. Um, so he hasn't even came close to 300 hours. Everything looks pretty good on this. So I really want to get a visual of those uh those drive shaft seals. Taking off the collar and spacer. This looks really good. You can tell it has low hours on this. Um, I've got a whole kit for them, so it'll replace that. Go. Ooh, this 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 impeller's melted a little bit. It got hot. So the reason why I could tell it got hot is if you look on the surface, see that surface? See how it has all these little grooves on the top of it? Well, this is the bottom of the impeller that sits on the plate. So that can be one of two things. He could have caught something to restrict the water, the, the water for a short, very short period of time where it's not gonna sh shoot an alarm. Um, also, some people, which I know my customer isn't, because I always reiterate to my customers not to flush the engine with the en or flush the engine with the with the engine running um, out of the water that's that's a big no-no um, but here's a good here's a brand new impeller and look at the look at the difference you could tell that's that's just a sign of it getting hot or watery being restricted um, these should hold up pretty very well um, under the conditions as long as it doesn't get cut off from water but that's definitely a, a sign of uh, of it getting warm. Um, it, I know it didn't get too hot because this isn't melted completely. This housing would melt um, if, if this rubber impeller is moving at a quick, at a fast rate, that it would melt this and it'll, it'll actually bubble up the surfaces, but this looks good. So it was, it was a borderline, borderline getting warm. So um, let's see what the uh, drive shaft seals look like. And sometimes these shafts are a little resistant, so I'll just add a little help to it. And you can see where there's like a little cutout and a little indentation where the woodruff key is when you look at it from the top view. You can see a little thing, and then it's right there. And you can line it up just like that. There we go. And you never want to forget your wave washers and your collar. So there's two flat washers and a wave washer. I'm going to get that wave washer in between the two flat ones. Lay them up top. Um, this is pretty good still. It can be reused. The only time I really replace those is when that doesn't come off apart. And there's the collar. You really want to have this insert it because it'll hold down the water pump to the plate. Make sure it's even. Looks good. I feel some, I can feel good resistant on the plate with the, uh, with the impeller. And there's the housing. I'm pretty generous putting a lot of grease on here so I can get everything to hold nice and nothing falls out. It's easy to, it's easier to handle when when you got the grease and all the troughs where the uh, where the o-rings sit in it makes it real nice and easy um, and then I'll just put that and you can see how the grease gets pushed out and the o-ring seats in there there's a couple little tabs here that go in go in these little places here and just let it sink in there nicely sometimes you have to use some force but nice and flat 
and then I'll fill up this trough. This is, you really should fill this one up because you know, the O-rings sometimes, they don't sit in there the whole time when you're trying to get the uh, water pump on. You'll see in a few seconds. Um, but I'll fill it up and I'll use the O-ring out of the kit. I'll just slide it in there and get it, get it just perfect. See that? Now it's all sitting there. The O-ring is going to be preserved and it sits in there. So um, I have my bolts ready to go. Nicely greased. Always use grease. Don't not, not use grease because then you're going to have problems later. All right. Always use a, always use a paper towel to hold on to the drive shaft. I'll set it on there and I'll turn it clockwise and push down slightly, not too hard. Just let it take and just turn it clockwise and it sits in there nicely. Um, and then also verify that the plate is touching the bottom side of the housing flat because if it's not flat on here, that means your O-ring popped out. And if you zip it down, you'll cut the O-ring, but the surface is completely flat. Confirm that the O-ring didn't get out of its, get, a, get out of its screws. Awesome.